Good morning from the streets of Barcelona before 7 a.m. We are traveling today from Barcelona to Paris via a train. That's incorrect, via a plane. Hi, I'm Anna. In March of 2022, I decided to leave Vancouver after almost 10 years of calling the West Coast home in search of a more fulfilling life. Join me as I start my journey traveling through Europe as a digital nomad, discovering new places, living out my foodie dreams, while doing it all on my own. Well, not totally on my own, I have this camera and you watching, so grab a cup of coffee, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and let's catch up on last week's vlog. After getting lost in the morning, I made sure to visit the major highlights of Barcelona. The Cathedral of Barcelona, some of Gaudi's buildings, I tasted Spanish veggie food, visited the Monument of Fallen Soldiers, purchased cookies that were trending on TikTok, went to the Sagrada Familia to wake up the next morning to travel to Paris via a train. That's incorrect, via a plane because it was cheaper all in time-wise and money-wise to take a plane versus a train. I did not sleep last night because the gentleman above me decided that it's okay that he coughs and also, you know, hugs a loogie, the sound. So anyway, I just got up at 5.30. So here we go to the airport. <laughs> We've arrived in Paris, France. I am so congested, but luckily before I boarded my plane, finally my COVID test came back from yesterday, which was like 16 hours later, even though they said it should be about four hours. So I don't have COVID. I think I'm just super congested. I have a cold as one would when they've been traveling for three weeks already. But I have never seen such an organized disembarkment of a plane. Everyone stay seated until the flight attendants called rows one to five, five to 10, etc. And I mean, it's kind of common knowledge that that's how you do it, but it's not something I've seen where it's actually been formally called out. We are gonna grab our bag, go charge my phone for a bit, eat my lunch, and then head into town. I can't check into my hostel until 3 p.m. and I'm really in need of some caffeine. So we are on a hunt for a coffee shop where I'm hoping I can also sit and do some work, which I know is not the European standard to sit and pop your computer open, but you know, girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. My friends kind of left you hanging yesterday once I arrived to the city. I uploaded finally my pack with me video even though it took me three days in Madrid and then once I got here it uploaded in literally 20 minutes. So you can watch that video here. I really like the hostel. It's quiet. It's more meant for school groups. I did laundry also yesterday. So that costed five euros for a wash and 210 for 15 minutes of dryer. Today we are leaving this hostel. I've only stayed here one night. Let's fix that. We are going to meet my step grandma. I'm gonna go meet her at a Parisian hotel, but time to change location again. Thanks for tuning in still. Before I leave though, I wanna give you a quick tour of this room. This is a three person female identifying dorm. So we have, that was my bed, and then we had two English girls here. But it's so nice to have space folks, like room. We had, it's awesome that they have the regular charging cord and they also have USB, so that's been really handy charging. A place to hang your coats, you can put your suitcase, but I actually hung up some clothes to dry. We do have a shower room here. Again, tons of space, like just, for a hostel, this is huge, a huge sink. This is a big shower, although I didn't shower here. Bonjour. And you look out into this gorgeous, super cute Parisian courtyard. Let 
Hello. Welcome to Paris. Bonjour. 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 B
is a expectation that you do tip someone at the end of them working to give you the tour. So we have that at 11 o'clock, some lunch, exploring, and just enjoying yourselves. Yes, thank you. It's not for decoration. Me too. I'm. Uh, I'm my, my name is uh, Frost. Was killed at the opposite side of the river Le Seine. Mm. Actually, Henry IV was a uh, Protestant, and he changed his religion to become Catholic for political reasons. As you know, maybe. Yes. Yeah. You can see the, the walls moved a little bit because it was built on sand. Uh, but this is still strong for today. An intermediate time so the next nature we get from Britannia. If you guys can continue, why not for the pleasure? We got to go on an amazing free tour by Thierry, Thierry, who is a Parisian man and as gentleman only does small tours. So it actually was a private tour for two and it was really helpful to learn about the revolution time, what some of the streets meant, some hidden gems. After an amazing Parisian tour with Thierry, June and I met up with Katie and Tom again to enjoy boat cruise tour down the river Seine. We chose the company Bateau Parisiens, and if tight spaces with lots of people aren't your thing, don't say I didn't warn you. These types of tourist attractions aren't normally my go-to for spending my funds on, however, it was going to be a quick way to see all the sights, watch the sunset, and spend more time with my family before we went our separate ways traveling again. <laughs> I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital. 